Yo, what's going on everybody? Youth in the thumbnail, you've read the title. Today, I want to talk about the problem with long time to kill Call of Duty games. Now, to anybody who has watched my channel for a while, you might think I'm being hypocritical here because I have always said that I prefer long time to kill games. But, that doesn't mean that long time to kill games don't have their problems. So, with that being said, let's get into the video, guys. Alright, so it is no secret that I actually really enjoy Black Ops 4, and part of the reason I enjoy Black Ops 4 so much is because everything is usable and the time to kill, you know, adds an extra element of skill as you need to maintain accuracy for a lot longer. However, that can't be said for Black Ops Cold War, as in Black Ops Cold War, most people want to use the 7-4U and the MP5, not because they're blatantly overpowered, they are, but because they are simply just better than everything else. And the longer the time to kill is, the more often people want to subvert the time to kill. This is just basic Call of Duty stuff. This is why, while snipers were very good and very strong in Modern Warfare, not a lot of people complained about them because you could still destroy a sniper with an M4, or an MP5, or MP whatever you wanted to use, you could still destroy a sniper with. However, in Cold War, with the snipers not having any flinch, you could put like three to four bullets into them and you're like, how the hell did they not die and not flinch at all? Which is why people complain about snipers so much, because the time to kill is longer, meaning that snipers feel a lot worse than they actually realistically are. Like, if these snipers were in Modern Warfare, people would hate the snipers because they're way too slow to be in a short time to kill game. But when you have a longer time to kill, more people are going to complain about the snipers because they're just subverting the time to kill. Now, not to mention the fact that I think snipers are actually very easy to use in this game. I could make this an entirely separate video, but I can't talk about snipers without, you know, using the sniper and getting gameplay because then people just complain. Oh, so you're saying snipers are easy when you're not using them. So yeah, if you want me to make a whole video on why I think snipers in this game are actually really easy to use, I could do that. I just haven't got around to making it. But nonetheless, this, we're going to go full circle back to the idea of subverting the time to kill. This is the same reason why the 7-4-U and MP5 feel so broken, and it feels like it's the only thing you run into. Because when you try to use something off meta, and you just use something that doesn't kill as fast as something else, it just it feels even worse when you have a longer time to kill. For example, in Modern Warfare, I could go in and use like the Growl in multiplayer, not in Warzone, but in multiplayer. And I could still compete with like an M4 or an Odin or something like that because of the really fast time to kill. Now this did create Modern Warfare's big problem of camping in my opinion because when you are able to kill somebody faster it is a lot easier to sit in one spot and they have a lot less time to react to you when you are sitting in that spot. I made an entire video on the fact that Modern Warfare's time to kill I thought was way too fast because it is almost impossible to react to somebody shooting at you if they hit every single bullet. And I actually proved that in one of my videos. I don't know which video it is. If I remember to, I'll put it up in the top right. You'll see it there. But I proved that it was actually impossible to react to somebody shooting at you in Modern Warfare if they hit every single bullet and they were out of your field of view. You could not react in time. Which was part of the reason why people camped so much. But going back to why I like long time to kill games, and I'm not praising Modern Warfare by any means for that, that's actually a big problem I think Modern Warfare has, but it made it really easy to balance. Now it's not to say that long time to kill games can't be balanced. We can take Black Ops 4 for example, where had the VMP not ever been added to the game and had the Micro MG never been added to the game, BO4 would probably be called the most balanced Call of Duty game of all time. That's just my opinion, I think most people would say, yeah, BO4 is an incredibly balanced game, had that never happened. But, it goes to show that you can have a long time to kill game and balance it, it's just very hard to do. So at the end of the day, yes, long time to kill games have a problem with them in the aspect of they are very hard to balance, and that's the big problem with them. And people are going to subvert the time to kill using whatever it is, whether it be shotguns, dual wheel pistols, dual wheel diamantes, sniper rifles, etc. People want to subvert that time to kill the longer it is. However, if it's balanced correctly, it takes more skill. So, that's the problem with long time to kill games. That's kind of my whole thing versus long time to kill and short time to kill. I don't know why I decided to talk about this today, but if you enjoyed it, nonetheless... Feel free to drop a like, sub the channel, turn on post notifications, and uh, yeah, 
comment because YouTube likes when you interact with the video. So with that being said, have a great rest of your day, everybody. Bye-bye.